Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for an experiment with swiping. So I get a lot of group, um, a lot of questions in our Facebook group about various things and one has come up recently a couple of times about um, why do some people say that you shouldn't put silicon in your white or in your swipe colour? And I'm thinking, well, I don't know. And you know me, I'm not gonna just do what everyone else says that you should do without having trying it first. So that got me to thinking, if I don't need to put silicon in my swipe color, do I need to put it in any of my colors if I'm gonna swipe? Because I know that swiping is my favorite thing. All my paints love to swipe. So I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna to do a three part swiping experiment. So I've got three paints and you might notice that they're green. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you'll know that I really don't like green. I love it as a color, but when I paint, I just never love the results. Somehow it doesn't work. So today, I'm going to try and tackle my fear of green by using all green. So this first one is the Pebio Studio Acrylics in uh, iridescent green blue. This is one of my favorite colors. I love this one. That's just here. And then I have a Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. That's that one. That's this one here. And then I have a Liquitex Basics Light Green Permanent. That's that one. And that I kind of like. It's kind of a springy color. So I thought I would do a three part swipe. I'm gonna, on each of the tiles, I'm gonna put each of the colors plus white. The first one, no silicon at all. So my paints are all mixed, two parts paint to one part of the Floetrol and water as necessary to get them to the right consistency. Um, no silicon so far in any of them, including my white, which has no silicon too. So my first step, I think, is to start on my first tile. Um, actually, let me make it the middle one because that will be a little bit easier to see in the camera. And I'm gonna layer up just three colors of my paint on here. I don't need to be too precise or worry I think too much about it because these are just gonna be an experiment. We're just gonna see what happens. So, um, you know, I'm not expecting them to be gorgeous. Plus, of course, they're green, so they're not gonna be gorgeous anyway. Even if they are, I'm gonna hate them because they're green. So okay, that's the first one. Then let's go with this light green in the middle. And again, none of these paints have got silicon in them for the time being. They're just the paint, the flow troll, and the water. Whoop. Spread that out a little bit. That one's a bit thick. Probably do with a bit of water in it. But if I change it now, then it won't be a true experiment. So although it's a bit thick, I'm gonna have to leave it. That's number two. And then number three, our bright green. That is very bright. And let's pour that one on down the bottom. A little bit more. And spread it about a little bit. Okay. So those are my three greens. Pop that just there. And now I've got the white. And again, the white doesn't have any silicon. So I'm going to put that, give it a good whisk up, and just put that up at the top. And there we go. Whoop. So as you can see, I'm not worried about um, completely covering the tile or anything like that. I just want to see how the paints will react if I do a swipe without adding any silicon to any of the colors at all. So I've got my usual swipe tool. I like to use these little paint chip cards from the DIY store. And I've got just a bit of paper and I'm going to swipe and then wipe off each time. So let's see how this works out. Number one, number two, number three. Let's clean that off of there. Throw it off to one side. Okay, so that's what happens with no silicon. Not very much, actually. I've got a few little bits popping through but nothing very exciting going on. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these exact three paints and I'm gonna add some silicone. So this is my favorite, favorite at the moment, Treadmill Belt Lubricant, 100% silicon oil. And I will add, uh, let's say two drops to each one and give it a good stir in. Okay, there we go. Two drops to this one. Give it a good stir. 
So when it comes to silicone, I really try to use the minimum amount possible because the more oil that I put in the paints, the more oil I have to clean off my canvas later on and the more chance that I'm gonna get some problems when I do my finishing with my varnish. So I always like to use the minimum amount possible to give me the kind of effect that I'm looking for. Okay, so there's all my colors. Now, let's work on this tile. Let me push tile number one a little bit out of the way. Bring that one into center view. Okay, so tile number two. For this one, we have silicon only in the colors. And I'm not gonna put any in the white. And we will see what happens. So that's our paint number one. Number two, this one's a bit thick, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Spread them out a little bit. That's number two. And our bright green for number three. And there goes paint number three. Okay, so now I'm bringing back the same white that I used before. So this white still doesn't have silicon in. Only the colors have got silicon, the white doesn't. So let's go with some of the white on the top. Okay. And I'll get myself a fresh card. And now I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm just gonna swipe over these paints and we'll see if the cells are any different. One, two, three. Now let's clean that off. Okay, so it does look different. I've got more cells coming through, certainly in this area at the bottom just here, um, where the, the white is thinner. Um, but nothing so much up at the top here yet where the white is thicker. Okay, so that's experiment number two. Let's bring in now tile number three. Um, we're going to do exactly the same because these paints have still got the silicon in. So let's layer out three of our paints with silicon. Number one. Number two. Spread it about a little bit because that one's a bit thick. And number three. Now this time, I need some silicon in the white. I've got quite a bit there, so let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, and give it a good stir around. Okay, so white up at the top. Now, for everyone who comments and says, oh, that wasn't a really good experiment because you had slightly more white on the second one or whatever. Honestly, these experiments are just for fun. Please don't think that they're supposed to be some kind of scientific uh, fact or, uh, you know, laboratory conditions experiments where, um, you know, things are going to be under controlled conditions. It's just for fun, just to see what happens. So go with it, okay? Let's go with swipe number three. Swipe number three has silicon now in all of our paints. One, two, three. Okay, let's clean that off. And let, oh, now let's take a look. This one is substantially different to the other ones. This one has a lot more cells right away all over. So now I'm gonna bring these all into shot so that we can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see if you can see them all. Okay, so this was the one that had no silicon at all in any of the colors or the white. This one had silicon in just the colors. This one had silicon in all the paints, including the white. So for the sake of experimentation, I'm now gonna add the torch over all of them and we will see what happens. Tile number one, no silicon, basically nothing happened. Tile number two, where I had silicon in the colors but not in the white, 
really made very little difference but we still do have some quite nice cells um, where the white is thinnest at the bottom of the tile. Now let's go for number three. This one has silicon in all the paints. So this one, it popped some of our air bubbles, but it didn't really make any more cells, but they've got cells all over it already anyway. So what I think I'm gonna do now is swipe back the other way, because some of these have got a lot of white on and it's quite thick, quite thick. And of course that does affect the cells that you get in a swipe. You really want to keep your swipe color to a minimum, just very, very lightly swipe over the others. So now if I swipe back in the other direction, I wanna see what happens if I take some of that white off, whether I can get cells with um, a reverse swipe. So because I am right-handed, I'm gonna to need to move these about a little bit in order to work it smoothly. Can you see? There we go. Okay, so this is the one with no silicon. I'm gonna swipe back the other way. Let's get some of these pieces of paper over. Well, well, well. That's just very green. So, <laughs> it's very green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah, if only you could see me now, painting with the green. Okay, that's green, that's not going any good. So this one, I'm gonna turn back the other way. Can you see? Yes, you can. And I'm gonna swipe in the opposite direction. And let's see what happens with this one. This is the one that has silicon in the colors, but not in the white. Okay. So in so doing, I've now created a lot more, much smaller cells on this one. Um, as I've taken the green paint which has silicon in and spread that over the top of the others especially here in the white now because the white doesn't have silicon but the paint that does has gone over the top of it and has created um, you know transparent cells here so that's number two and then this is number three let's turn that one round I'm making a right mess of my bench to clean up later so this is the one that has silicon in all the colors and it also has silicon in the white. And the effect of this one is pretty much the same as that one. I think as we'd expect, because I'm taking a paint which already has silicon in it and moving it over across of one, across others which already have silicon in it. So it really doesn't make that, diff that much difference. So I'm actually surprised because what I was expecting to find was that probably I wouldn't need a lot of silicon in my paints in order to make a great swipe. And in fact, it's confirmed that probably um, I do. I can get away with having no silicon in my swipe colour, in my white there, providing it's in my colours, but in fact the best results came from having silicon in all the colours, including the white. But that's my paints, that's just one very simple and very green experiment today. But uh, I encourage you to try out this kind of thing for yourself. It's very quick, very simple, especially if you're going to do it on tiles, you know, use ugly colours that you don't like very much, so that if you have to wash them all away, you really aren't too upset about it. And who knows, you might come up with something wonderful or interesting. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the channel again very soon.